Hey guys, I'm Tyrone Farmer, and on today's video, I'm trying to do some fun stuff and make some stuffed bell peppers for you. What I have in front of you is some white rice that I basically just cooked and steamed and a bit of salt, nothing else. Kept it very basic on this first part. Now what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to put my phone up, because I'm doing this by hand, step by step again. Get my. So now I have my ice cream scooper. I'm going to scoop a bit of rice into here. I have my rice already cooked. Save on a little bit of time. I know all people might do their rice a little different, so to each their own. This is just how I do mine. For this video, anyhow, because I usually do some other things with rice. So, so I got some meat over here. And I'm not going to take a lot. I'll take a little bit for now. And I'm going to mix it in. The inside with the portion of meat. For now. And you'll see why. Not too much, I just want to take some of in there. And I'm going to have my seasoning right here. Not too much. It's your choice, do how you feel. I do this this way. I choose to sprinkle it on. And this is some garlic powder. Fair amount. Set to the side. I do not want a lot of this, but only a little bit. Black pepper. Doesn't take much. Sprinkle salt. We have some paprika. Sprinkled it in. Not very much of this ain't gonna need a lot in the first place. But oh cranky. That was actually the only one, but that's okay. That was less salt. Suck to be me. I'm sorry, I should have loved that one better. And I just want a tap of spice. This is some red crushed peppers. Please be careful. I'll do some ice. And I have me some raw onion. I'm going to take my time, incorporate and mix this in. Trying to make sure all those granules get touched by this meat and seasoning before I do this next phase. For you guys. Check how it's looking so far. Seasoned up. Still hot. Put it to the side. Now my next step. I like this part a lot. I've already done this. Save on a little bit of time. And my bell peppers, as you can see, is already cut. I've already cut it open. I already disemboweled it. Cut open and disemboweled. But one thing I didn't do yet was rinse them out. I wanted to wait for the video for that. Using a bit of hot water and shaking them about. Hot water, shake them about. Get some hot water in there, shake each one about. I want to get any residual seeds out. Now, your choice how you do yours. I do mine like this. I'm out of olive oil, but I do have some vegetable oil. And with a clean finger, I'm going to get it in there and rub it in about. Be viscous with it. Don't be afraid to get your fingers all stuffed in that bell pepper. I don't want this to sound dirty, but oh well. We're, we're, we're grown, we're cooking. Got that in there. I'm gonna repeat this. I'm gonna put my hand in some of this olive oil and then get it side of the stuff, this bell pepper, get it rolled about. Get your finger in there, all rolled about. Keep showing you. Get, so I'm take my finger inside of the cap right here, take the inner finger, roll it inside all around, getting that vegetable oil in there. I'm gonna repeat this on its face. I know it sounds a little crazy, but it's going to be really delicious. Watch this. I'm going to remove these top ends because we don't need them of these bad peppers. Get this over here. Let's see if I can get this right. Get this up for you guys. Don't want anything to get me out of whack.
Got a hole for now. So now that I got each of these oiled up, I'm gonna take my mixture and I'm gonna get each one of these stuffed slowly. But I'm gonna leave a little gap in between each of these for a reason. I'm gonna stuff a lot more in each one of these, believe that. But I want them done a certain way. I'm over here getting these bell peppers nice and stuffed at the moment. Got more filling for each one of these. Wanna make sure each gets a nice helping. the rest of the filling before I go to my next step for you guys. take what I have right over here for you guys to see is I have me one tomato that I sliced thoroughly and I've added paprika salt pepper garlic powder and I'm over crushing it down you can use a blender but for only one I didn't see the use so I went on and did what I had to do to show it to you. Use one. And it's actually mashed down perfectly. With that being mashed down the cell. And take a little spoon. Send it to the side. So while I have you guys' attention, now I'm about to get this tomato sauce that I've created to put directly on top. That wouldn't have happened, but it did. Life happens. Let's keep it rolling. Ain't no quitting the show. We flip this about. Move this can out the way. Flip this one around. Ugh. It's to be 
me, that's one question for now. So what I do is I'm having this technical difficulty. I'm move this out of the way here. Get my phone up here. I have to give me a GoPro or something. This is way better. I'm gonna finish crushing this down for you guys as you're doing a One, this is ground turkey meat that I used a little bit of taco seasoning on and then I revamped it with some steak seasoning. Revamp meaning recooked with some steak seasoning. Keeping it simple for you folks. Getting all that extra help from the turkey meat steak season goodness in there and then my long last one for you guys to see because I was out of grated cheese but I have my grater I froze my cheese to make this easier for grating so I'm gonna move these out the way Get me a plate or a bowl, maybe a bowl. Bowl would be better. some black cheese and <laughs> some brick, square cheese sorry. and to make this easier I'm gonna set these on top of each other as I grate them up Top of each other like such, and then I'm about to choose the level. I'm gonna go with slightly a heavier side. Please be careful, these are sharp, they can cut the mess out you folks, and that would really suck. So I'm gonna get my grating on, like I said, frozen. Let me uh, bend it this way, bend it, make it a thicker layer, and turn it upside down this way, and get it grated. Said, please be careful. This thing can totally slice you if you ain't careful. Oh, losing some along the way. Just gonna re add it into the mix here. There we go. Oh, 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 flip it upside down. Back to town. Please be careful. This thing will get you. Good too. Let's see what this other side comes out like. Barely use this side, so why not? Just get it graded. Right. I gotta be careful. <laughs> get it sliced up. Almost there. there folks so 
So I'm gonna move this over. I can use the rest of this cheese for something else. Bring these over now. Now I'm gonna take this newly shredded cheese. What's up? Newly shredded cheese. That's how I want to say it. Jeez, and if you have to, grade you up some more. I'm about to for a little bit. I want the bigger side of the to give me a little bit more of that cheese, and then I'll be getting these in the stove. Cheese shredded. Get my hands washed off really fast, folks. Got my stove going at 390. And I'm about to let these go for about 10 to 15 minutes. Pull it from there. And let me get my perfect handy dandy pan. Sounds one. Hey folks, got my flour over here. I'm gonna need a sprinkle of flour. Alright, put these to the back. Gotta wash my pan, put a little flour. I just don't want these to stick. There we go. Stove these. Folks, thank you. Uh, happy 2023 to each of you. This is, I think, one of my first real videos of the year, and many more will be on the way. Blessings to each of you until the next.